Hey guys, welcome back. Orbomb here, bringing you a long-awaited TCGO live content video. I haven't been here in a second. Uh, we're actually going to go over all the reasons why I've been gone. It's kind of heavy. There's a lot going on. So um, <clears throat> before we get into it, we'll probably talk about the deck profile, then we'll talk more about the personal stuff. Uh, there's a lot of things going on right now, but I do want to say thank you guys for staying with me while I've been gone for so long. Um, for those of you that miss me, don't forget to drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share, all that good jazz. You know how it is. Shoutouts to our sponsors, as always, at Guardian Gaming. And also, brand new shout out to myself. Let's see if I can do this real quick because I forgot about this. But uh, I just got a Patreon. Now, I do want to say, uh, outside of just like your everyday stuff, I have been having some money issues as well. So uh, I decided to finally bite the bullet and give myself a Patreon. Uh, there's a couple. Here we go. I think this is it, right? Yeah, cool. Um, <clears throat> oh, it's loading. I'm not going to keep this up too long, but there's a couple tiers. Uh, if you guys want to support me, uh, there's a couple rewards you can get through Patreon. I'm going to work out more rewards as time goes on. Maybe make exclusive articles, give you guys updated deck lists at all times, things like that through my Patreon as well. So if you guys are interested in supporting me, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the Patreon. Uh, but yeah, uh, Let's go over the deck first and we'll start talking about all the stuff. There's been a lot of stuff going on, guys. But I've been working. <coughs> I have been working. <coughs> and trying to get better from this cough. <laughs> so we're playing Zerka Tree. So I was playing around with ideas of trying to make Parasect work, right? And I was going back and forth on the Discord. And then Gumball, you guys know Gumball, uh, he actually came up with the idea of like, if you're going to play Parasect, just play with Zerka Tree. And I'm like, okay, cool. That sounds like fun. Uh, I literally was just like, let's build it. And I threw it together. And here we are right now. Zerker Tree's cool. 20 damage, uh, dazzling, Dazzle Blast, and then your opponent's confused. And then with Parasect, we'll talk about Parasect in a second, but Cablegram can instant paralysis if we have exactly three prizes. We are one prize attacking deck, so that should happen more often than not. Now, Parasect is the fun part. Uh, Panic Spores, put two damage counters on your opponent's confused Pokemon between turns. So obviously we have all three down. They're putting six damage counters on their Pokemon for being confused, and they have to flip to attack. Now, Confusion, probably not the best right now, Considering Jirachi's a card and there's all these um, all these switch cards in format because of it, but it's still not definitely not bad. Uh, Rangru here because we actually do get a lot of low hand sizes in this deck, so I threw in a Rangru. Now I just recently threw in this Rangru and I kind of want to put in a couple switches here and there. Uh, we'll fit that in as we play. We haven't I haven't played too many videos for this deck. I want to get just a handful of games in. Uh, one Absol because of their, their we want to stop them from retreating as often, so Absol is here for that. Soda Widow, I, I like Soda Widow because uh, it makes the Zorak matchup a little bit more bearable. It's hard for Zorak to knock you out if you have a Soda Widow now, and <coughs> I figured I'd target the big five being Zorak, Cephalon, Ultra Necro, uh, Zapdos, and Picarom. And this deck, this deck can target some of them pretty nicely. <clears throat> like for instance, you knock out the Zapdos because um, you hit them for weakness, and I, I'm promised the cough is gone now, guys. I do apologize for all the coughing. You hit them for weakness with Dazzle Blast, which is cool. Uh, Zora can't Oko you, which is cool. Um, what else is there? I mean, you're a stage one, or you're a basic deck, which is nice. All that good jazz, right? Um, one top of Coco Prism for obvious reasons. Four Zerga Tree and one Mr. Mime stopping Acerola spamming because we're not usually going to take okos usually we're just going to let them chip down and stuff like that uh one electro charger i was playing two but i really needed to make room for a rangru because the consistency was kind of rough so but they made that a thing four electro powers four judge whistles uh four nest balls i believe two rescue stretchers yeah two rescue stretchers uh four ultra balls two shrines yeah two shrines and one thunder mountain just for counter stadiums and stuff like that for Cynthia, for Guzma, I believe two Judge as well. For Lily, one Choice Band because we're playing Electro Powers. I don't feel like we need too many Choice Bands. And uh, what is that? Eight, eight Lightning Energy. Eight kind of feels a little bit low, but we'll see if we can make it work. That's gonna be the deck, guys. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of games. Let's see. All right, let's talk, guys. Uh, so, uh, for those of you that don't follow me on Twitter, you should follow me on Twitter because I talk about a lot of stuff on Twitter. Uh, I don't, I know I don't have a big following on Twitter, which is, which is fine. Like whatever, like you guys follow me on YouTube. That's all I really care about. But, uh, up, updates are a lot easier for me to do on Twitter. And, uh, I have had my wisdom teeth chip and become impacted. 
If you guys don't know what that means, that kind of means that my tooth is now hitting against other parts of my body because it's growing in sideways and it's not exactly the most comfortable situation. <laughs> this hand's really bad. I can pare it down low enough to draw for Rangru, but that's about it. So playing with something with rare candies and fire energies, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's probably Charizard. I know everyone's on the Charizard wave because people like to upload Charizard videos. <clears throat> I did mine a while ago and I liked my list, so whatever. <laughs> um, don't forget to check that video if you haven't, if you haven't already. But uh, so that's really expensive. <laughs> that's super duper expensive. And I can't actually talk for that long, which is kind of annoying uh, because, you know, the whole thing is I talk. <laughs> that's kind of what I do. So let's see what we got prized here. We have two Parasects, so one Parasect's prize. I think I'm going to, yeah, he has Drachi down, so we're gonna play this down. Don't really care about the Sudowoodo right now, so I'm not gonna bother. I will attach that, and I guess I'm dropping a Guzma and a Sudowoodo. I kinda wanna get a Rangru early, but I'd rather try to, I, I wanna set up multiple Parasect as early as I can too, because I can take knockouts on this thing with like the proper amount of Parasects and, uh, Electro powers. Uh, this hand's not bad either. We could always. Not too much I want to do right now. But we have a Parasect. We have some Electro powers that should be able to get us a knockout. Shrine of Punishment's good. I think I'll slap the Shrine down so my opponent can't. And we'll force him to play Heat Factory so we can bump it later as well. But we'll just pass for now. Opening hand seems pretty good. Absolute down and Drachi matchup is always nice. <coughs> <coughs> oh man. Okay, so that's number one. Um, I can, I can manage videos kind of, but don't think I've been lazy. I've, I've recorded like 20 videos of all of April's content. You guys know a month before set releases, I like to start uploading the set in test games that you guys love watching deck profiles. You guys love seeing, and I know you guys love that content. So don't forget to subscribe. If you're excited for that stuff, hit that bell because that bell chimes, chimes. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's cool. So do it. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, so that's a thing. And Okay, so this this next top this next topic's kind of hard to talk about. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like what's the best way to do this. Okay, so a lot of you guys know my brother Cranium. Cranium PK, he is a YouTuber kind of like I mean he is, but he doesn't really upload as much. He is primarily a rapper. He hangs out with like big Pokemon rappers like show for the beat down and stuff and like they really like him which is like awesome and I'm very happy that people like my brother because I like my brother too and um, I'm recording this Sunday evening and the reason why I finally feel up for recording is because of this but my uh, <laughs> so Thursday my brother left he just straight up left the house Ran away from home, if you will, and uh, we don't know why. We don't know what happened to him. We don't know anything. All we know is that he decided to leave, which is uh, obviously a very scary situation. It was terrifying, actually. Um, we spent, I spent mostly me, because uh, my parents, they were really, they were really distraught. They were really freaking out. They did what they could, but they were really upset, so they couldn't do much. Not emotionally, at least. So <clears throat> I spent a majority of my nights going out looking for him. Uh, he left everything, too. He left his phone. He left his car. He left everything that wasn't worth as much money as other things behind. Um, <coughs> <coughs> the only thing I remember him taking is his computer. Now, luckily, I have access to his Discord. But because he was leaving the house, he obviously didn't want to talk to me. So... That was an issue for a while. Is this thing weak to lightning? No, it's not. All right. Well, this thing's going to be kind of annoying to play against. All right. So I had to find him. So I, I went out most of my nights trying to figure out where he could have gone, what he could have been doing, things like that. Um, Cocoa Prism is kind of awkward right now. I need to find a lightning energy. Uh, I think I'll just draw one off right here now. So, 
what happened was because he he also rebooted his phone, so we would so we would have a harder time finding him, which was not a big deal because in the end of the day I managed to get back into his phone, which was good. Um, I discarded a judge, right? I believe I did early in the game. Yeah, I did. Cool. Judge's whistle is nice because you can cycle between judges as well. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. 20, 40, 60. That puts him in range of a 2 a KO. So, we'll just Dazzle Blast for now. And <clears throat> I just, we just couldn't find him. We didn't know where he was. Uh, we found this address on his phone that his Lyft driver took him, which was this apartment complex, which was like an hour and a half away from our house. So, uh, because we could, we didn't find the room and he didn't buy this apartment, he was apparently living with other people. Um, we we couldn't figure out which room he was in. Uh, eventually, we got the cops involved, but the cops didn't find him. Uh, he didn't really contact us. Like he maybe sent us one message a day, but it was like one of those situations where like we don't know if he's okay. We don't know if somebody kidnapped him. We don't know what happened. All we know is that he just left one day. Um, and that was, oh, was something else. So yeah, I've been out till like 1, 2 a.m. most nights st uh, stalking out the, the apartment complex, trying to figure out where he could be, uh, contacting all of his friends, things like that. Eventually we got to, um, eventually though, after a couple of days, <laughs> he finally contacted my sister. And told my sister, and my sister offered, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my sister offered for him to stay with her at her place. So, as of right now, he is staying with my sister. He just did this about an hour ago of me recording, which is now a Sunday evening. So, we know he's okay. My sister just got in contact with him. We're all super relieved, but that was where I've been the past few days. We didn't know what to do. We were all really distraught, obviously, for obvious reasons. So it's a very scary situation, but we're here now. We're living now. So that's good. But yeah, that's where I've been. It's not exactly super awesome to talk about or comfortable to talk about or anything like that. But yep, that's what we're doing. I guess we'll shoot an electro power here. Judge Whistle, draw a card. <laughs> I don't like using these Judge Whistles because I want to be able to judge my opponent at some point. All right, that's good though. That ended up working out quite nicely. Um, not too much else I really want to use here. I kind of want to hold on to this Lily as well. Uh, well, I could just judge actually. I like judging. I mean, like I have a pretty decent turn here. Not too much else I need to do. We can stretch her back some Zerker Trees. I'll wait till this one gets knocked out, then we'll start stretching. I think. I will Dazzle Blast again. Alright, we'll see if we can bring this back, because we're kind of behind right now, but he can't obviously attack. Oh, wait a minute, he can. He can still attack one more time. <clears throat> Alright, so now we don't need Electro Pyres, we just gotta chain knockouts more. Here's the problem, though. We don't have that many Lightning Energies left. We still have Thunder Mountain, though. We have three more lightning energies in the deck. I'm assuming he's gonna knock out a Parasect finally. Yep, there we go. That's what they always do. And here's where Coco Prism kind of comes into play. We have to find another Zerka Tree, but um, like right right now we're okay. We can take knockouts, and he doesn't have another Charizard down yet. So yeah, uh, it was a little bit kind of like oh, an awkward thing to talk about. So I do apologize for those of you that are like. You know, like, I don't want to hear about this right now. <laughs> but here's a here's something that I want to tell you guys. And that is, family's important. Like, it's really important. It's, if you guys are going to leave your house, fine, whatever. You do you, all right? I'm not going to judge you too hard. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. Um, but if you're going to do that, like, keep, keep in mind that you probably have family that cares about you. <clears throat> and when you're doing this... And then just not contacting us, you're all you're doing is hurting your family, and that doesn't help anyone. I'm debating what I want to do here. <clears throat> all I know, I have one more parasect in the deck, so I'm gonna actually do this instead. Do I have? No, I don't have one more parasect. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna find another stretcher at some point, anyways. Um, I really want to find 
He's at three prizes. If I can find a manual attachment plus Thunder Mountain, I mean, that doesn't really matter too much right now, huh? Yeah, never mind. Uh, because we're gonna hit 40. Yeah, okay, never mind. Let me just set the other We already have like knockout. I'm, I'm gonna hold on to the Ultra Ball for now. Hmm. I want to try to get down another Parasect. Let me draw. Ah, oh, shit, I shouldn't do this. Oh, well, I already committed, I guess. Um, that didn't help us too much. One, two. That's fine. I don't really like this card, to be honest. I just threw it in because I thought it'd be cool to profile it here and there. Uh, I kind of want to hold on to this. One, two, three. I think we can win. I think we can win. I'm gonna hold on to the Lightning Energy and I'm gonna hold on to the Circuitry. Uh, actually, I don't know. He's gonna take a knockout next turn, anyways, right? I really wanna put down a Paris, but we don't have a Paris. I'll just hold on to it for now. Uh, we'll Dazzle Blast for knockout. <clears throat> oh, it didn't knock him out? Oh, snap. My bad. Oh, that's kinda awkward. Um, well, he can't attach energies to himself. And he won't be able to retreat, so he might have to coin flip. If he gets heads on this coin flip, though, we're kind of not in a great position. He might just Guzma as well, though. Uh, yeah, this is not exactly a matchup that we're super strong against. I'm not going to lie. Uh, just because he can take Okos on us with relative ease, and I'm not finding Electro Powers. And I'm not taking advantage of Cablegram. But yeah. <laughs> We're confusing him, we're forcing him to switch a bunch. Is that a Flareon? Is he? Is this man playing a Flareon? What can he do with Flareon? He can't really attack us this turn, can he? He's, I guess he's trying to thin, but he doesn't want to draw too many energies. Maybe he's trying to find an, another energy recycler. That could be a thing. Because he, he already lost a bunch of energies, which means it's hard for him to actually set up a Charizard. But there's an energy recycler. Alright, cool. He's not going to be able to Guzma, and chance he can't obviously attach to himself or he'll get knocked out. So what I kind of want to do is Guzma up this Char this Charizard and take a knockout on it because it has energies. Unless this man has a switch right now. Oh, dang it. <laughs> That's awkward. All right, well, this one can't ever attack, so we're good there. Um, so... That's pretty good. He only really has one attacker on the board. So... That's, that's pretty good for us. Um, what I could do is I could Guzma Jirachi right now and take a knockout on it. I kind of like that play. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I can't do that anymore, can I? Um, well, I guess I still could. Yeah, let me Guzma Jirachi and take a knockout on it. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. He can't charge up either of these Charizards anyways. Is there anything we want to shuffle back? We can shuffle back a Parasect, I guess. I just want to draw more, but I don't want to put my Thunder Mountain down yet. Not you. So that should be a knockout here. I would like to get a Paris down. Unfortunately, we cannot. Another Electro Power is pretty good, but here we go. Yeah, both of these Charizards cannot charge themselves up. Uh, the only one that is close to being charged up is Charmander. So we should be pretty safe here with this turn. We can knock out anything for the next few turns. This is probably why he got down the... the This dude. Uh, for Flareon, of course. I don't really know what Flareon can do. I'm not going to lie. Nothing here has a really easy retreat cost. He could probably attach an energy to Charmander. Unless this becomes a Charizard, though, we should be pretty safe. And if this does become a Charizard, that's going to be really awkward. Because he's only one prize away from winning if that's going to be the case. But if he wants to evolve the Flareon, he guess, I guess he'd want to attach an energy there. But what we could do is we could... If he doesn't take a knockout, or even if he does take a knockout, we could attach an energy to this Thunder Mountain and just take a knockout with Cablegram. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> we would need two Electro Powers, because we only hit 130 uh, with one Electro Power. And I don't. we only have one more left in the deck outside of this one. All right, so he's attaching energy to that active, or to the bench. So is he going to Guzma me? A Guzma could be super annoying, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, there it is. What's he doing with this Guzma? I guess he's going to start accelerating energy. 
Oh, does he knock us out? I guess he staged. No, he staged doesn't knock us out, right? How many Guzans do we have left? Only one more left. Uh-oh. This might be problematic, boys and girls. Oh, he's on a power burner. Hmm. Interesting. Why don't you just play Bocephalon? Actually, I guess there's reasons to not play Bocephalon. If I bet just Paris, I could lose to a Guzma. So I guess I'm not doing that. <clears throat> I could just put this thing into a KO range. I guess that's the play now, right? I don't, I'm definitely not benching that Paris. <laughs> Use this real quick just to get rid of it. Uh, I could try to prevent things. Don't really see a point in doing that though. All right, let's go ahead and Lily. Yep. I don't have exactly three prizes remaining and I'm still looking for a Guzma, but I guess this will just have to do. Let me just toss these dudes, thin my hand a little bit more. So I can top deck easier. I don't know how many stadiums this dude is playing, but all he found so far was his heat factory. I don't. He might be playing shrine and just holding out to them. I could definitely see that happening. I'm just gonna cablegram to get the two kill ready. But unless I top deck my Guzma, which I don't even know if it's in the deck, I haven't checked yet. But unless I top deck my Guzma, it's not looking super good. But he obviously can't charge up either of these dudes or he gets knocked out. He might try to manually attach to them, which would be pretty good. If that's the case, I'm going to have to try to target them down too. Um, he only needs one more prize to win. Uh, heat Stage does not take any knockouts right now. Heat Stage could be a problem though, because you can attach energy to your to his Pokemon, or like his Charizards, and then I would just be in like a super checkmate position. Uh, but he also needs to have that many energies in his deck, so there's that as well. See, I guess he's thinning. Stretcher gets some Charizard back, so that's problematic. Can he switch though? Does he have a Guzman hand? Because if he has Guzman, he just wins. And this is what I mean, like right now, this meta is kind of weird because like you can't really get away with paralysis. There's the shrine. Hmm, interesting. You can't really get away with paralysis in this meta. Because I mean I mean confusion because they have a lot there's too many switching cards but it was just a fun, it was just a fun deck to try out you know what I mean I just really want to play Parasite and Parasite's really cool um, it doesn't work super well in this meta in this match can he retreat oh he, oh, he can't retreat yet no we're good uh, but we won't be able to win because no matter what he has game next turn we could try to deck him out but that seems very unlikely. Besides, we have too many cards in our deck, or too, too little cards left in our deck. How do you, oh, because it's not a basic, that's right. Good game. All right, I forgot about that. I always forget Absol doesn't work on all Pokemon. That was a good game nonetheless, though. Uh, we were pretty behind. <clears throat> I feel like we did pretty good, though. We just didn't capitalize, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what we could have done differently in that game. I'm sure there was something. There's always something, right? All right, guys, we're back for another game. I had to make that. I had to make a cup because I had a little mini coughing fit. But we're back. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the things I could have done differently in that last game, but I can't really. I mean, other outside of knocking out the EV, because maybe I just I think I just underestimated Flareon too much. Flareon obviously got that checkmate position, which was kind of bad. This is a really good opening hand. Like we got a pretty much like three, four of our five preferred Pokemon down. The only thing that'll make this better is like getting an Absol. We're going first, which is great. So like, we play a lot of Pokemon in this deck. I mean, a lot of Pokemon, quote unquote. We're playing a good amount of Pokemon in this deck, so this is not exactly uncommon, but it's a pretty decent opening hand. And there's that evil man right there. We can't attack turn one, so I don't want to bench any, I don't want to put down Thunder Mountain. Not to mention I don't want it to be gone. Uh, I hope my opponent, I hope my computer's not freezing up or anything. Uh, we can go ahead and get down another Paris and an Absol. I think that's just like best case scenario, right? If my opponent's playing Jolteon, that's going to be kind of annoying, but Absolute does prevent a lot of free switching and stuff like that. 
<clears throat> I guess we'll just attach. I doubt he's taking an Oko turn one unless he gets like Electro Power, Thunder Mountain, things like that. You know, you know what it is. Confusion is going to be pretty good because Jolteon is going to have a pretty annoying time switching between itself. This might be Jolteon Decidueye, uh, one of my personal favorites, but I want to try a Jolteon Greninja. I also want to try like a straight, like heavy Jolteon, like aggressive, aggressive Jolteon list because that sounds like a lot of fun. Like Jolteon Zapdos with like a bunch of really good aggression. This thing's going to be really annoying though, especially if I can't evolve right away. That's going to be really bad if I can't evolve right away. Headbolt and Swift Run are going to be obnoxious, but luckily Headbolt doesn't Oko anything. But if he does just put energy damage on both of these dudes, it will start Okoing things. But if I can get that Confusion to tick up, that'd be really, really nice. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of how I want to start this game, though. Uh, I might judge my opponent depending on their hand size by the end of this turn. Because we have access to a Rangaroo, which could make it a little bit safer. Uh, there's a Guzma. Oh, that's that's rough. Guzma's rough. He's just gonna go for the Absol right away. Um, hmm. That's really annoying. Hopefully, we can find a Lightning Energy. I do draw. I think I just draw better if I can switch this thing out from the active. Oh, that's just beautiful. Actually, I'm not gonna judge because my opponent didn't do anything that last turn. So I'm just gonna Lily here for a couple cards. See what we can find. Nothing too useful. I guess we'll just confuse him and hope for the best. He did go for the Orangaroo, which means that he doesn't want me to be consistent. That kind of tells me that my opponent's not doing super well right now if he's going for the engine. I feel like every time you go for both, you just go for both um, circuitry. Unless he can guarantee the Oko. He's playing Jirachi, I guess that's why he wanted to get the Absol. But even so, unless you could like really get rid of that Absol as early as you can, uh, I don't see a reason to target the Absol. I feel like definitely going for both circuitries so that you can headbolt and take knockouts at all times is pretty nice. I don't know, but that's just me. <laughs> My opponent might have a little bit more experience with this deck than I do. I haven't played Jolteon that much, just a little bit. He's going to switch here uh, because he's not a bait. I forgot. I, I, I did this last game too. If he's not a basic, he can, he can retreat for free. I got to remember that. We're looking for Electro Power and um, <clears throat> Electro Power Paris. Electro Power Parasite. That's what we're looking for right now. I don't think his deck is going to be playing Acerolas. Not too many decks play Acerola. Usually it's just like, it's just the um, the occasional Zoark decks and occasional Picaram decks. Those are the main decks I'm worried about. I'm thinking this is just like Jolteon with Zapdos. Maybe it's Jolteon Decidueye, and I just haven't even seen any of the Decidueyes yet. Uh, we'll see here, I guess. He's going to grab a Lightning Energy and a Nest Ball. He might grab a second Jolteon. That could be interesting. I'm probably going to try to get myself a Shrine of Punishment as soon as I can, though. I'm really trying to figure out how I want to build this deck. <clears throat> I feel like all the tech Pokemon are good. But maybe I can just like X on some of them. I do want to say that the, the Zoric matchup is a lot easier if you have that Soto Widow down though. Because it forces them to constantly bench these other random Pokemon. That are not Zoarks to attack you since Zoarks and pretty much never Oko you. They'd have to play Kikui to Oko you, and a lot of Zoarks are actually not playing Kikui anymore. <coughs> so that's something. Alright, he looks like he's targeting a headbolt here. Escape rope. Is he gonna GX me? Do I give him the Absol and just like Troll a little him. Definitely want to only give him a rain guru. Hmm. We have one lightning energy down there. What I could do is give him the Absol. But if I give him the Absol, it's just never good. So I'm actually just going to give him Zerkatry. Whatever. I don't think giving him Absol is ever good. I've, I just found from experience that whenever you don't have an Absol down in the Jirachi matchup, it becomes a lot harder. A lot harder, a lot faster. He can't Oko me unless he has Electro Power. So at least with the Zergatry in the active, we should be safe from an Oko. I doubt he's going to Swift Run me right now. I don't really see a point in doing that. Yeah, this Head Bowl just seems pretty good here. And now he can like Electro Power. Oh, Parasite's good. He can Electro Power Guzma, knock this out and this out. That doesn't seem bad. I'm just going to send you though. 
Let's even get a couple parasects down. A lightning energy could be really, really nice. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. I actually just thought about it, but I could have put down that Thunder Mountain there. But we're okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and Dazzle Blast for 40 damage. Continue chipping away at this GX Pokemon. Eventually we'll find Shrine of Punishment and take a knockout on it with that. But I think, I, I honestly wanna fit in a 1-1 one, one line of Jolteon in this deck only because uh, I can guarantee you, if it's not gonna be in this video, it's gonna be like on stream or something. I'm gonna run into a Vileplume deck with this deck and just be upset <laughs> and just be triggered and go, man, I should've put in that Jolteon. Not to mention, like since you're chipping down on your opponent's board, just having access to Jolteon seems pretty good. Uh, he's really going into this thing a lot. I guess, oh yeah, he is playing Decidueye. Decidueye is going to be a problem if he can get it down. Um, there's another one. Is he going to get, yeah, two Jolteons. Okay. Shrine is going to be my best friend if I can find him. Come on, buddy. I'm going to have to keep digging until I find it too. There's no real point in me playing down, um, like playing Guzmas and stuff like that too. Uh, I'm kind of really tempted to try to put down Mr. Mime. The problem is I don't know what I'd replace. This board is just really good for this matchup right now. But I guess if he knocks out a Parasect, I wouldn't mind putting in a Mr. Mime over one of the Parasects. Electro Power, if he can't switch, is going to be really, really nice. Gonna be kind of, I mean, he has to find more Switch cards if he wants to switch this turn. Uh, he might just be playing heavy, heavy Escape Rope with Switch cards. Although, I don't know how you find space for that in Decidueye, in Decidueye list. So I think he's just going to stuck, be stuck active here, and we're probably going to take a knockout. <clears throat> I wanted to keep this thing in the active as long as I can, though. Although, mm, I might try... If I can top deck an Electro Power, I might just knock out that Rowlet. Okay, no Electro Power, but I will get rid of a Judge so that we have access to them later. And I don't want to get rid of any Guzmas. I can feel the Guzmas are going to be useful this game. So I'm actually going to get rid of Parasect here. And just Cynthia. I don't want to get rid of these either because I can run out pretty quickly if I'm not careful. So hopefully we can find ourselves an Electro Power here. Yeah, we, need, we still need an Electro Power, which we found one, which is good. Choice Band's gonna be useful, kind of, I guess. We'll just Electro Power and take our knockout. And hopefully he does not get the Sidroi. Sidroi is gonna be super annoying if he gets it, but if he gets it, it's whatever, I guess. We need to find more Zerkatrees if he gets it. Judge Whistle, I think we play it. No, never mind. Okay, we didn't play any. Keep my games all mixed up. Judge Whistle is good because it gives us access to Judge throughout the game. And against this kind of deck, especially with no Jirachi down, I feel like Judges might be a little bit strong. Just a tad bit. Especially if we have a pretty set up board. Of course, we don't have a pretty set up board. There's another Jirachi. So yeah, I think he's going to make the Guzma play if he did this. He's probably going to Guzma up uh, this Electro Power and knock out both this and this at the same time. Probably with this one. Um, I want to try to get a Paralysis turn. With Thunder Mountains, it's definitely possible. And Cocoa Prism and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. If he's going to take two knockouts, I definitely want to try to find Stretcher. For sure. Does he have Decidueye too? Because if he has Decidueye, he could just chip chip away at this circuitry now. Decidueye is going to be really annoying though. Um, I really need to find Shrine. I have two Shrines in the deck. I really got to find it. Let's see. There's the Guzma I was talking about. Is the Electro Power going to show up though? Or is he just going to make this active again? Decidueye could do it as well. I don't think he has it, so we're gonna have to try to find. Actually, we, oh, there it is. Never mind. All right, and he actually attacked me with the weakened um, Jolteon. Not too sure why. I can definitely take a knockout on him with like Thunder Mountain, an extra energy, and like actually I would need two Electro Powers or Shrine of Punishment. I have the Choice Band though. One thirty. If, if I can take a two prize turn right here, that could be pretty nice. Oh, there's the Electro Power. But like now I'm like, now I need to find this Lightning Energy. Which is kind of hard. Let's draw, I guess. Let's just draw a card, see if we can find anything. Probably should have judged there, actually. In hindsight. Um, yeah, I kind of really want a Thunder Mountain. I'm going to run the risk here. I really hope I can find it. Yeah, we got it. That's so good. We even have the Absol back, which is really strong as well. So we took our we took a we take a knockout here. The only problem is, 
I think I jumped the gun a little bit there, but we have Judge for next turn, so that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll just Cablegram. Take our knockout. All right, two prizes. Not bad at all. Another Lightning and another Electro Power. That's pretty good. That means we have an attack for next turn. I'm, I'm getting to that point where I'm worried about attacking, and I need to get Coco Prism down as soon as I can. But we have Thunder Mountain, so we're going to be good as far as I'm aware. And as long, if we're hitting for 100, that's not bad either. But I really needed to find Shrine this game. Like, I didn't want to put down Thunder Mountain. My opponent's still attaching. I mean, you have Thunder Mountain now, bro. Is he going to Swift Run me? He might just Swift Run me. But I think it's just still spreading time, right? He didn't go directly into Jirachi, which tells me he probably doesn't have any Switches or Escape Ropes right now, or Guzmas. But this might just become Decidueye, and this might just become a problem as well. We'll have to see here. I think we're back to trying to confuse my opponent as much as we can. Oh, it's Zep Strike instead. Okay, so I guess no rare candy in hand still. Can Zep Strike take an Oko on us? I think it can, right? But he manually attached here already, so he can't use... Oh, he's using... Them. That's the other Zep Strike. My bad. Oh, he still can, but up. he's the other Zep Strike. We're good for now. <laughs> Oof. And there's a stretcher, probably getting a Jolteon back in the deck, or maybe an Eevee just on the bench. Oh, just getting a Drachi back down. Okay, that's fine. Two Drachis. Only has space for one Decidueye. He only really needs one Decidueye this game, so I can definitely understand it. Uh, <clears throat> if he whiffs a knockout here, I'm probably going to keep Guzmang and taking knockouts on like his Drachis and his Rowlet. I really want to knock out his Rowlet if he does not get a Decidueye here. Uh, if, he, if he can't get a Decidueye, that's going to be really good. We also get a free Paralysis turn, which is going to be good as well. But, like, in order for the Paralysis turn to really come into, come into play, uh, we're going to have to get Coco Prism and Guzma and Manly Attach as well and have this Thunder Mountain stick on the board. I really just want to knock out Coco. I really want to just knock out Rowlet, though. So I think I'm going to do that. So Shrine, er, that's gone, so no more... Really not not gonna be thinking about that as much. He never he didn't discard a rare candy or a decidueye. That's what I was hoping he would do. But he already played his draw spore for turn, so off of four cards, if he finds that two card combo, it's not it's not super likely. <coughs> Especially since he already played his um Lily. So we should be good. We still have access to Judge and Guzma, so it's gonna be pretty good. Guzma is being less effective now that he has a Zip Striker, but I still think I'd rather not this is the big problem boy right now. I'm gonna try to knock out the problem child. I wanna hold on to a couple Guzmas because I wanna I already played four Cynthia's, it's crazy. Um, I want to hold on to a couple Guzmas to avoid um, being stuck with a Swift Run, but we have no Guzmas in the discard pile. We play four for this reason, so we should be pretty good here. This matchup, in theory, should be really, really bad. My opponent's not getting a Decidueye down. I guess he just wanted to get rid of that. Not too sure why he made that play, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, he's not knocking me out here without an Electro Power. And he already he even played down Aether, so he needs like two Electro Powers. Yeah, and there is so perfect. He just made this game super easy for me. Um, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Yeah, I'm definitely knocking out this Rowlet while I can. Um, of course, can I even take a knockout on him? Yes, because I'm hitting 50, 70, 90, 90 minus 30 is still 60. Perfect. There goes a big threat. And I'm just not going to do anything else. There's not really a reason for me to do anything else. Yeah, I'm just going to take my knockout. Yeah, because it should be 40, 60, boom. Still no shrine, which is kind of surprising. I could probably Ultra Ball away some stuff, draw off a Ranguru, and play a Judge. This can go down. I really would like to... Like, just take a huge Oko on Jolteon. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> because we've already played how many Electro Powers? Three Electro Powers? Yeah, we can't actually Oko Jolteon. Um, he needs an energy to retreat as well. Which I guess he can still manage to attach this turn. He hasn't done it yet. And he already uses GX attack, so there's no, there's no like, safe zone for my opponent. And if he does take a knockout, I think what I'm going to do is... Just find that Mr. Mime and play it down. I'm still like, 
I'm like paranoid about Ace Rolla plays, and Mr. Mime kind of like checkmates your opponent so they can't play Ace Rolla, which is like really, really nice in exactly like these kind of scenarios. But these kind of scenarios help in a lot when it comes to this deck. Sometimes your opponent just holds on to the Ace Rolla and goes, well, in the last second, I'm just going to play Ace Rolla and completely ruin his plans. And then he's just like, <laughs> no, 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 sir. Not today, sir. He's going to goose on me. What's coming active, though? So we have a lot of ways to thin our hand. <laughs> so if we need to, we can thin our hand low enough to, to find a Guzma here. But I'm thinking I'm just knocking down a Jirachi here. Maybe putting 100 damage on Absol. I mean, we have so many Guzmas. We should theoretically have so many Guzmas in the deck that we should be able to knock out both Jirachis for game. So I'm just, I think I'm just going to do that. That feels like the easiest, safest route. I don't have to bench any Mr. Mimes this way. And Guzmas will just help me throughout the game anyways. So, I finally feel like this is, the, this is the best route to take. I could also try to knock out Zubstrika. I mean, I can just knock out Zubstrika straight up if I have uh, another Lightning Energy. But I have to find another Lightning Energy for that to happen. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know if I mentioned all of this in the beginning. I have not been lazy while I've been gone. I've recorded so many videos for the next set. Ooh, Coco Prism. Uh, oh, he's just going to knock out the Absol. I, he's going to be really sad when he finds out I have another one. <laughs> but actually, don't I win if I find... Uh, if I have to find Shrine, Electro Power, I just win the game. And Lightning Energy. So there's a, there's an out for me to win this game now. Just like right now. And there's a pretty decent out because of all the cards we have in this deck. Um, so whatever we top deck, we can Ultra Ball away. We need to find one of our few Lightning Energies, which there are not too many left. Um, there's a Goose one too. One, two... Three, four, five. There's three more left in the deck. Actually, we have a pretty thin deck. We could probably do it. Let's get that Absol back. But we actually have to find like a huge combo for this to work. Before we Ultra Ball, I think I'm just going to Judge's Whistle. Because we might just Ultra Ball this thing that we draw. Oh, Electro Power. All right. Now we just have to find Shrine for game and a Lightning Energy. Um, hmm. Okay, <laughs> now we just have to find a lightning energy. The problem is our hand is pretty not super thick. Uh, we're just gonna fail this. There's only two lightning energies left, but we haven't played a draw supporter yet. Uh, all right, Orangru, show me your magic. We're only hitting 160 right now if we find a lightning energy. If not, we're not even hitting nearly as many. And there it is for the game. Yeah, da, 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 da. Cablegram, boom. <laughs> and GG's to my opponent. We even found Lily too. That's actually crazy. Um, there you go. Shout out to Circuitry. Revenging after that last horrible game. But we're just going to call it a video here, guys, because I... Oh, I just got a lot of rewards. Hello, rewards. Um, <laughs> what am I doing next? What am I recording next? Well, regardless, I like coins. Um, is there any fairy decks I like right now? I definitely don't like any fairy decks right now. We'll do water. All right, cool. That's going to be the deck, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. That last game was magical. I'm not going to lie. Um, it was amazing. <laughs> but yeah, let me showcase the deck. I, I like what we I like what it has to offer. I think it's really cool. It's just a matter of like, I, I would never take this to any tournament, even for fun, just because I'm afraid of all the switches and stuff. But maybe if we reach that, if we reach a new meta that doesn't play as many Jirajis, <laughs> this deck could be pretty good. <coughs> maybe if there's like a card that prevents item switching, uh, like specifically switches and escape ropes, like that. I mean, crazier things exist. Like this thing exists right now that prevents specifically Ace of Rolls, essentially. Um, okay, I, I guess also super scoop ups. It, it prevents very specific cards. So, like I don't know. There could be more of Mr. Mimes or Mr. Mime Blockade or something like that. That could be cool. Um, but regardless, don't forget to drop a like on this video if you haven't already. Subscribe, share all that good jazz. My throat's giving out. My by throat, I mean my mouth because of what we talked about earlier. Guys, family's very important. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Uh, even if you think they don't care about you, they probably care about you. Uh, obviously, each person is different. But I, my mother has been torn apart for the past four days because of my brother because my brother's honestly just as pure selfishness he's only 18 and he left the house because he wanted to live on his own so but instead of talking about it he just ran away from home he doesn't have the money he doesn't he barely has any money he's been saving money and he thinks like three thousand dollars is big cash 
that's it's not three thousand dollars is nothing if you're living out there on your own um i don't know it is what it is like i love my brother to death and all but that was really stupid and it was really unhealthy for the whole household so keeping that in mind just your family cares about you no matter what um they're the only ones you can really rely on in this world <laughs> but anyways that's it guys uh support the content support the patreon support uh guardian gaming support the fam support or bomb industries if you guys want to of course and i'll see you guys next time peace